I want to talk some more about uh, Canelo Alvarez, man. And you know, I just got some questions, man. I got I got a lot of questions, bro. And a lot of it, you know, David Benavidez it tied into a little bit of this video, but I just got questions because, like I said, I've been on plenty boxing channels all day after this fight happened last night with Benavidez and Ron Ellis, and the comments that I see is, you see a lot of people saying that they think David Benavidez will beat Canelo Alvarez, and then you got a lot of folks that are ride or die, die hard Canelo fans, nothing wrong with that, and they believe, you know, that I seen comments saying that Canelo Alvarez will break David Benavidez into two. I seen people say Canelo Alvarez will knock out David Benavidez, which is all possible. He can he can knock out David Benavidez, quite possible. But listen, man, I just got some questions, man. The questions is if Canelo's this monster puncher, right? Now, without a doubt, the dude can box, great head movement. Upper body moving is dope. Excellent. Good puncher. But here's the, here's the thing, man. Like, I got questions. If this dude is this monster puncher, he's this world beater, this destroyer, this Thanos with Thanos punching power, like a lot of these people are saying in these comments, who's the last person that he slept? Who Who is the last person that Canelo Alvarez stopped? Beside, I'm not talking about Abney Yildrum. I'm not... I'm not talking about Rocky Fielding. Those are the last people he, he physically really stopped. I'm trying to think, is it was it anybody else? I think what? Uh Chavez Jr. quit. He just, he just, that's just him. He just give, he just did a collect a check. I'm talking about like anybody of any notoriety. Has Canelo body bagged him? Somebody please answer me that question. I'm going to be quiet for about five seconds. I can't go live, so I got to pretend like I'm live right now. Okay, I'm going to count, count in my head five seconds. Who has Canelo Alvarez knocked out and stopped of any notoriety? All right. Now, to the people that's talking about he hits too hard and he's going to knock David Benavidez out. Bro, I've seen Canelo hit people with heavy shots. I've seen him hit people with that's that doesn't have that has questionable chins. Flush, didn't drop him. I've seen him hit triple G flush, didn't drop him. I've seen people say, "Well, yo, David Benavidez is stationary. He's there all day. He's gonna destroy him because he's stationary." Okay, triple G is stationary. A lot of Canelo fights. Most of them people that he fight are stationary. Why hasn't he dropped them? Okay, and Sergey Kovalev. Okay, he 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 knocked him out too. Forgot about Sergey Kovalev. The over the hill Sergey Kovalev. And that fight, a lot of people are questioning that fight. I'm not gonna get into that one in this one. But he stopped Kovalev, or over the hill Kovalev. He he stopped Rocky Field into the body. And then I seen comments that saying, "Oh man, he stopped. Um, he stopped Callum Smith. Like, okay, Callum, who's Callum Smith, bro? Like, the, the, all right, he had a, he was a champion, but what has Callum Smith? Who has Callum Smith destroyed of any real serious notoriety, though? What? Just yeah, people get this thing twisted with this championship thing. You got a lot of champions that don't deserve to be champs, so they just got belts." But they not they they took them off of off of lighter opponents, bro. You know, so but I can I can more so understand that. But what what I'm what I, what's bothering me is the folks that keep saying Canelo got this crazy punching power. I'm like, all right, where where is this devastating crushing punching power where he's just he's just getting dudes out of there every fight and. Okay, here's the thing. You know, you know what's crazy? All right, last night, uh, David Benavidez fought Ron Ellis. He didn't get Ron Ellis out there. Like, you know, I predicted David Benavidez to knock him out in six rounds. Turns out, 
He didn't do it. He got him out of there in 11. You got a lot of people saying he should have got him out of there earlier. But then at the same time, when Canelo Alvarez goes the distance with Danny Jacobs or he goes a different, he goes the distance with lighter touches or he didn't get Callum Smith right out of there. He didn't get him right out of there right off the back. And I don't even see Callum Smith as like a, a super elite, elite fighter like that. Where, where's all of the where's all of the um energy for Canelo? You know, when you know, listen, it's these boxers, they you know, when when a boxer has power, everybody always expect him to get the knockout. What I don't like is when a boxer don't get the knockout, people people frown upon boxers when they can't always get the KO, man. Sometimes you're not gonna always get the KO. Like, okay, Canelo not always going to get a stoppage. Does that take away from Canelo because he's not knocking everybody out? Now, I don't have a problem with Canelo not knocking out everybody. He He's not going to knock out everybody. That's, that's just what it is. This is boxing. At the same time, don't sit up here and say that this guy has this crazy, mythical, God-sent power where he's stopping everybody in their tracks. Stop it, man. I Look. David Benavidez, his chin isn't as, as as tested yet as a lot of other folks that Canelo has for. I do and I agree with that. Like Triple G, but he's just as stationary as Triple G. Um, I don't see where the defense shit. Triple G doesn't really have that that much defense either. He's a he's a, he's a walk forward, come forward fighter. He's smart in the ring, though. You, people, I think, underestimate Triple G's IQ. He definitely has IQ. A lot of these boxers have IQ, man. They just have different styles. Some of them just come forward. But he has to work on his defense. And that's the, that's the truth. He definitely does. And some other things, too, he has to work on. Just because I said he would give Canelo problems, that doesn't mean he's going to beat Canelo. I say he has a good chance to. Absolutely. And so does Jamal Charlo. So does Jamal Charlo. Absolutely. I would probably give David Benavidez the edge over Charlo to beat Canelo, though. I just, it's just something that I just see and I can feel that shit. It's just something I I don't know. If they ever fight, I doubt they ever will. Hopefully they will. Cause now um I believe David Benavidez, I'm not I gotta go back and look at the rankings. I'm not sure if he's now Canelo's mandatory or He's damn near close to being his mandatory, I believe, for... I'm not sure what bell. Is it the WBC? I got to go back and check it. I believe that's what it is. But I just don't understand, you know, why everybody's really coming down on David Benavidez, you know, especially for, like, not knocking him out. I get it, though, because I was even looking for the knockout. But even the kid admitted it. He's like, man, I was looking for the knockout. But sometimes, man, the people that you expect to knock out fast... You can't, um, it doesn't always work like that. So why can't people feel that same way when it comes to Canelo and David Benavidez then? Everybody is saying that Canelo can knock him out. Canelo is, I'm gonna, he's going to smoke him. All right, well, what if he doesn't smoke him? You know, it's, it's, it's yet to be seen, man. These are, these are valid questions, bro, because I, I'm trying to figure out and pinpoint the, the punching shit like the like this like this dude just he just breaking everybody down with with he's just destroying everything that's moving and I don't see that I don't I don't get that from Canelo bro he's moving around jumping over jumping across the checkers board that's what he's doing dropping bells jumping across the checkers board picking bells back up again people vacate you see somebody that got a belt he don't want to fight them because they got the belt then the minute the person vacates the belt then he goes and fights for the belt. Like, come on, fam. Like, am I, am I making this shit up? Prove me wrong on anything I'm saying, bro. Prove me wrong on it, man. You know, I just feel like, bro, Canelo ain't the, like, end-all, be-all in boxing, bro. Like, all right, my man is nasty with it. He's nice. I see flaws in him, too. I see flaws in Errol Spence. I see flaws in Terrence. None of these boxers is perfect, bro. None of them are perfect. They're not unstoppable. They're not unstoppable. Just some of them don't have losses yet. Eventually, they keep fighting. One day, they will have a loss. That's how it is. Unless they retire right now, 
they ain't, they gonna have a loss at some point. Somebody gotta lose. You know what I'm saying? You going you got all these dudes with O's. It's just like where you got T Fim on Tank, Devin, Ryan. None of them have any losses yet. Eventually, one of them gonna take an L. A couple of them might take a loss. Shit, Canelo took a loss. So you telling me he can't take another loss? Like that's just like you can't fathom the thought. Like, come on, man. It's crazy, man. You know what I mean? Like Floyd was my home. Like Floyd was my man. I, I fucking loved Floyd. He was like one of my favorite top fighters, but you know what I mean? I, I always said it in myself, like, man, Floyd could still lose, bro. And you know what's crazy about that? As good as Floyd is, you got all of the Floyd haters. They gonna say, yo, he lost against Castillo. Hey, you know, Mike Donald beat him. Um, um, he lost against this person, that person, but technically he didn't lose. Because he didn't get people out of there. They give him hell, but then Canelo. This is a guy with punching power. Like he got all his. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't stop Jacobs. He didn't really stop uh, Callum Smith. So like, where where you get where are people getting this shit from, fam? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. We 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 just gonna have to watch how all of this play out. I'm just I'm just sick and tired of these dudes not fighting each other. I'm sick and tired of Jamal Charler running his mouth. He looking real shaky out here. If he don't take that Benavidez fight, that's saying a lot. To him. That's that's telling me a lot right there. And he's the one that started this mess. He's the one that called him out. All right, bro, big bro, step up to the plate. You called that man out. You a lion, right? All right. Do what you do. Go ahead. Lions defend they fucking, they defend their pride. So your belt is your pride, right? They defend the pride. So your pride is your pride. So you gotta defend your pride, bro. Go get him. Let the, go, go get him, bro. You the lion. Go, go attack. That's, this is how I see it. But anyway, let me know what you think about all this, man. This shit is crazy. I'm not, I'm not talking about this shit no more. I just want to see these dudes fight, man. I'm tired of the Twitter back and forth shit. I'm tired of all that shit, man. I, you know what I mean? The Chocolatito fight, that, that shit gave me hope in boxing. Man, that shit, David Benavidez fight gave me hope. All these other motherfuckers, just, like, they moving like clowns, fam. They just fighting like once a year. You know what I mean? That's one thing I will say about Canelo, though, man. My man staying busy. He's staying in the room, in the ring. Four, he won four fights this year. I got to respect that. No matter what, like, it were, even if he moving a little funny, like he's still in the ring, staying busy and active, yo. So I gotta, I gotta, I'm not shitting on Canelo. I fucks with him, but people need to stop this thing where this dude just can't be stopped, and that's just not the truth, bro. So let me know what you think. Like, subscribe. I catch y'all later on the next one, man. Peace out.